Hi there and welcome to a new video. This is an important one for the entire category because you need to understand where you are in the stairs of competence in order to learn skills the best way. We're going to be covering four of them and four of these levels so that you understand what you need to do at each level. Level one, unconscious incompetence. This means you don't know that you don't know something. At this level, you're blissfully ignorant. You have a complete lack of knowledge and skills in the subject in question, and you're unaware of this lack of skill. This is also the phase where people are extremely confident, even though they completely don't know that they don't understand things. Uh, a good analogy that I always use as I do martial arts is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu has been proven to be one of the strongest in the Ultimate Fighting Championships all the way in the beginning when it first started, when it was pit up against all these other martial arts. The reason why is because it was a very smart martial arts. And so a lot of people would think if you are brawnier and stronger, you'd be able to beat someone. And here comes this Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and he was just pretty much learning a craft like chess and getting people that were twice his size and actually beating them without hurting anybody, which is why I like that sport. So when you enter that sport, you enter as a white belt thinking that if you are bigger, you'd be able to beat someone up until the point where a 15 year old can just take you and completely neutralize you. So that is a great analogy for unconscious incompetence. Level two, conscious incompetence. You're now aware that you don't know or are incompetent at something. At this level though, you find that there are skills you need to learn and you may be shocked to discover that there are others who are much more competent than you. As you realize that your ability is limited, your confidence drops a lot. You go through an uncomfortable period as you learn these new skills when others are much more competent and successful than you. Again, when you take this analogy into sports or business or sales, this is when the white belt starts realizing that, oh, he or she doesn't understand what is happening exactly. So in the context of sales or business, this would be your first day at the company thinking that you have a great career behind you so you might know exactly how to do something but yet on that first day you realize that that company is doing something completely different and you have to learn a whole new skill all over again. The next step is level three, conscious competence. This is where you develop a skill in that area but you still have to think about it. At this level you acquire the new skills and knowledge. You put your learning into practice and you actually start gaining confidence here in carrying out the tasks or jobs involved. The beauty of this level is that you're actually aware of your new skills and work on actually refining them. You're still concentrating on the performance of these activities, but as you get more practice and experience, these become increasingly automatic, which brings us to the next level. Level four, unconscious competence. You are good at it, it comes naturally to you. That's what is associated to this stair level. At this level, your new skills become habits and you perform the task without conscious effort, just like driving a bike or driving a car. And you do it with automatic ease. This is the peak of your confidence and ability. And obviously, of course, when you've actually mastered the skill and are ready to move on to the next level. Those were the four levels that you can go through in the stairs of competence. Hope you enjoyed this. Try to look at where you are from that perspective and then continue through the exercises of this category. And hopefully this video has helped you. I'll see you in the next one.